The Lord has spoken to Barry Wunsch, and he has said, Release the war horses. Saints, God bless you. Welcome to Love Has a Name YouTube channel. My name is Brian, and today is the last day of the month of May. It is 5-31-24, and tomorrow we cross over whew, into the new month of June. Oh, Harabasondo, thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit's already manifesting. His presence is already going. And we are going to read <coughs> this prophetic word. I'm going to share with you. It is actually not a very long word. It's uh, probably around the medium range. All right. Now, on top of that, what I want to do is I also want to give you a little bit of an update on what God has spoken to me just yesterday may 30th 2024 when djt was announced as guilty even though even though i was extremely busy during the week i personally find it amazing that yesterday the lord was just unveiling unfolding revelation from within me and it was just coming up in my from the spirit and my soul was catching on to it and the lord was giving me the understanding of what he was saying so i'm going to give you a little bit of a heads up into what's coming this weekend uh in in the sense of i'm going to be releasing the prophetic words the lord gave me for this weekend and giving you the insight <coughs> some of the prophetic connections that he has shared with me and the fact that it came in such a different and unique way even for me even for how he is speaking to me was what really really impacted me all right so i just want to let you know i'm going to touch on that at the end of this prophetic word from barry wunch all right so <laughs> let's get ready to get into it then we'll get into those details and we are just going to have a blast here uh over the next few minutes in this video so let us posture ourselves before the Lord. Father, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit. Oh, we worship you. We give you all glory and we thank you that you worketh all things for our good. For those who love you and are called according to your purpose. Your servant, David. Your servant, Cyrus. Your man of the hour whom you have chosen as a deliverer despite anyone's opinion you have anointed him dt and you will work all of this for good for his good for our good for your church's good even for the world yes even for the unbelieving christians there who have still stubbornly refuse to get out of their flesh and continue to judge and think ignorantly about dt forgive them lord strengthen us through this word we are about to hear and lord thank you for speaking to us through your servant barry wunch and thank you for what you have revealed to me which i will be revealing to your people over this weekend father we yes we commit june to you lord saints is what i feel to do right now so join me <coughs> join me father we commit the month of june to you we agree with your plans with your verdict with your judgments with your justice manifested we agree and we say, Father, come forth, glorify your name. In the name of King Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right, saints, go ahead and hit the like already. Do it for me. Let me see you just like, like, like that video. And subscribe if you're not subscribed just yet before we get into it. And of course, today is... Friday. I hope you've had a good week. Check out that join button down below to, to see if you would like to uh, become a member of this channel. And um, this would be a great way for us to join together with the anointing, with the grace of God that the Lord has blessed me with 
for you all. Amen? Because we are one body. All right? Also, Barry wants his information is down below. So make sure you check out his ministry and connect with him and sow into it as the Holy Spirit leads you. All right, saints? Let's begin. This prophetic word is dated April 16th, 2024. The title is Prophetic Word Release the War Horses. Barry begins by saying, I was taken into the spirit today, onto a massive battleground. It was early dawn, and a light was just starting to glimmer over the land. As I was taken in closer, I saw an army charging into battle. The Lord said, The war horses who have been released. Let me repeat it for you. The war horses have been released. As I was taken over the battlefield, there were warriors on the strongest war horses you have ever seen. As they charged, whoa, thank you, God. As they charged ahead into the battle, they were raising a dust storm that glowed in the glimmering light of the rising S O N, the rising sun. Let me pause here. Not the rising sun as in the sunshine, but the sun of God. All right. And as I'm pausing here for a moment anyway, let me just repeat to you Hank Kuhneman, by the Spirit of the Lord, prophesied recently about the dusts. Now he was speaking, the Lord was speaking about in the Middle East, and it was the dust from the horses of the chariots of the living God. So it's interesting, there is a bit of a parallel here with this word, amen? All right, let's keep going. But before we do, type in the comments, the war horses have been released. All right, now, we just read that Barry said a dust storm was glowing and he saw the glimmering light of the rising sun, the son of God. They were at a full gallop rushing in to do the Lord's bidding. Victory was soon to be at hand. They were resolved. Hmm. They were resolved and knew what they were called to do. They were fierce. They were fully resolved to take care of business. With the Lord of hosts overshadowing them, there was nothing that was going to stand in the way of conquering and taking out the enemy. Saints, type in the comments. They were fierce. If you want to type the war horses, then type the war horses were fierce. The enemy is about to be taken out. Go ahead and type that as well. Thank you, God. Now, Barry says, the Lord's army was immense and went as far as my eye could see. They were riding as tight as they could, shoulder to shoulder, front to back. The warriors were dressed in helmets, shields, bows, arrows, spears in hand, and battle axes on their backs. Ooh, thank you, Lord. They were fearless and would not be stopped. Mm. Let's put in the comments, the army of God is fearless. Now, don't forget, saints, we also can partake in that. We should be fearless. All right. Now, the Lord spoke to Barry, but just before he did, Barry says, I knew by the spirit that the armies outnumbered the enemy 100 to 1. Then God spoke to me clearly, says Barry. Thus says the Lord, I am not a dead God. I am not a God that sits idly by, unaware or indifferent to what is going on. I am the Lord of hosts. 
and I have all authority and power over every principality, power, and demonic spirit that is against you. And they shall be taken out. Your eyes cannot see all that I am doing upon the earth. You do not have understanding of what I am releasing in this hour. It is the hour, and it is the time, for the release of the war horses. It is the hour and the time to release the angelic hosts and the end-time army to battle. The nations are being shaken. The mountains are being shaken. You have not seen anything yet. It is I who created the cosmos. It is mine and all therein. My plans and purposes shall not be stopped. There is a great awakening upon you, and it is coming in a way you did not expect. The heat is on, and it is only going to get hotter. Those who have mocked me are in for a surprise. <laughs> those who have ran, those who have run from me shall call on my name. They will cry like babies. I shall wrap, I shall wrap, excuse me, I shall wrap my strong, loving, and secure arms around my people. And I will protect them. I will provide for them, and I will not let them go. Do not let your heart be troubled, for I am with you. And I will be with you through it all, and until the end. Holy is the word of the Lord. <laughs> Ooh, thank you, Lord. My God. Saints, I didn't want to interrupt as I was reading that because that was the Lord speaking forth but I want you to type in the comments the plans and purposes of God shall not be stopped wow I'm just scanning the word here I'm scanning the word see if I feel anything else led I also feel <coughs> A few moments ago, as I was reading, and all of a sudden you heard me, I, I prayed in tongues for like a split second. <clears throat> it's because I felt the Lord was speaking to me as I felt his presence increasing upon me that he wants me to pray and release his presence through the airwaves. For there is no distance, there is no time in the spirit. You could be watching this 59 days later and the power will still be just as strong as it is at this moment and if God wanted it could even be more there is no distance in the spirit with the spiritual things and so I am going to pray over you all right then I'm gonna give you a bit of a preview for what I'm gonna share over this weekend so you have a heads up and you get excited and of course so you can be on the lookout to watch the videos and listen to what God has spoken to me regarding two of the people who have come against DJT, two specific ones. I couldn't believe the specific words the Lord gave me. Strong, fiery, all right, as well as some other things, all right, but let me just pray for you now. I was going to do it later, and I felt the Lord just say, do it now. So, Father, all right, saints, just posture yourself. If you are able to, just put out your hands in any way. You, you can put it out in this way. Um, surrendering to the Lord. You can put it out in this way with your hands up as if in worship. You can put it out like this as a sign of receiving however you feel led. But just open your heart by faith to receive. Father, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. I thank you that you are filling me even more and more as I speak building up, building up the fountain of living water, overflowing, that I may simply be a method, O oh Lord, 
for you to release it upon your people. Whoa, thank you, Lord, for your heaviness. Father, I honor. I honor your presence. We honor your presence, Lord. Thank you for your people who are about to receive a new touch, a new touch, a new touch. Thank you, Lord. Father, release the fire. Release the fiery presence now, Lord. In the name of Jesus, release your presence, Father, unto your people now, in the name of Jesus. Fill them anew and afresh, Father, as they step in through the doorway into the month of June. May it be their best month yet, Father. Healing, deliverance, provision, empowerment favor, encouragement, strength, and good health in the name of Jesus. We give you the glory, Jesus, to you, the only living God, be all the glory. Oh, thank you, God. Oh, and all of the people of God say amen. Whoa, awesome, awesome, awesome. Just as I had my hands up there, right as I was turning them slowly, I started to feel like light electricity started to come down on my head. So you probably heard me responding to that. And then I just, as I was about to release it, I just saw like flames go up in the sphere, like flames. And I saw a cup, um, like a handful of steps that were leading up to like a platform. And then there was just a door. And I saw the image of a person about to enter in. So then I just released it by faith that the fiery presence of God may be with you. Make sure you are testifying in the comments so others are encouraged, so God is honored that you have testified. And also because I love reading the testimonies of God and I will rejoice with you. God knows that I rejoice for others when they receive his touch. Amen. And this will be an encouragement to everyone. <laughs> All right. Let me give you just a little bit of a preview what to expect over the weekend. Now, I most likely think it'll be tomorrow, Saturday. But in case it doesn't come Saturday, it'll be Sunday. All right. Um, I actually want to do just a little bit of research regarding some of the symbols that I received in two visions yesterday. <laughs> yesterday evening I was having a late shower and I was listening on the phone to um, a YouTube video that Manuel Johnson released in response to what happened with the DJT verdict all right <clears throat> as I was listening to Manny and you know taking a shower all of a sudden I mean not only was I being encouraged I was I was uh, seeing things in from a different lens as I was listening right because the Lord the Lord uses others to, who to teach me and to fill me. And as I listen with an open heart, as I tell all of you to do, the Lord begins to unravel. It's like, it's like I tapped into the frequency, and all of a sudden the Lord opens up another, another avenue of frequency of revelation. And I had a vision, and in the vision it was about DJT, and it was about something God was doing now I can't tell you now because I'm gonna tell you over the weekend all right but I want to tell you this vision was quick <clears throat> I saw it clearly and part of the understanding I received at that moment and then I received a little bit more revelation uh, later into the night but I want to say a few minutes after I had that vision while still in the shower I had a second vision and the second vision was from a different angle but the same setting of, as the first vision. And I knew it was a part two. And you're going to love it. Amen. Simple but powerful. <coughs> now, after, after that, um, as I said, it was a very, very busy day. So I went ahead and I had dinner. And I got back on my computer. And I was working again late into, into, you know, into midnight. <coughs> And as I was doing this, just before we got to midnight, um, 
I was reflecting on the news and what I had been hearing. And all of a sudden, I, I told myself, okay, I need to log in my, the vision that I had because I hadn't logged it in yet. I was just replaying it in my mind. <clears throat> and so I was texting myself my notes. And as I was doing that, I felt like the Lord was about to bring forth another prophetic word and some insight. So some revelation led to some prophetic words. And there will be a prophetic word for all of you. That includes me, God's people, tomorrow. It's a short prophetic word but it is very uh, deep and revelatory and i know you will agree you will concur you will feel it in your spirit man on top of that prophetic word as i was thinking about and listening to the the news broadcast the <clears throat> the comments that that district attorney of new york city alvin bragg as I listened to what he was saying, it's like in me began to stir a response from the Lord unto that man. And a prophetic word came forth. And I was typing as I was feeling it. After that, I was listening to reports about what the judge, the judge in this case, Juan Merchant. And I was listening to how it was being reported that as every count against DJT was being reported that this man supposedly did something to the effect of having a paper, an envelope or whatever it was and kind of going like this and kind of smirking and smiling behind almost as if to say almost as if demonically gloating <coughs> as I listened to this ooh, inside of me began to be stirred up and a, and a word began to come forth and so it is just my responsibility to release the word and to pray and release it into the atmosphere the word for but also against Alvin Bragg I will be releasing in that same video as the two DJT prophetic visions and the word for and against Judge Merchant. And I must warn you, they are strong words from God. <clears throat> and I was very, very careful in what, in what I was typing because it was coming out, I was typing and there were moments where I paused and I was just checking in with the Lord like, Lord, is this, is this what you're saying? Is this how you want me to word it? Is this you, you know, just to confirm? And he would answer me. And I would either correct or I would continue. And I don't know how to explain it, but I know it was him. On top of that, the Lord spoke to me a phrase, a unique word that I do not use in normal language. In fact, it came like it came up in my spirit before it really hit my mind, before it really hit my human understanding. And God was good because I was asking him, Lord, can you confirm this, please? How could it be that Fox News, as I was listening just a few hours later, I was listening and I believe it was Hannity, used this specific word, which is a really rare word to use, much less for news. And he used the word twice. Two is the number of perfect witness. I knew the Lord had spoken that to me. And because I was in the same flow, I knew that that confirmed that what I had heard, the other things, were also straight from the Lord. And so I will be releasing that along with a little bit more prophetic revelation regarding the date of yesterday, the 30th, and how that plays into it, into what happened. And, and it's just, wow, it's just amazing. So make sure you are, uh, you stay tuned for this week and make sure your bell notification is on. If you're not sure, just uh, next to the subscribe button, there should be like a bell icon or an arrow. Just tap that and check and you can put all notifications. Um, other than that, you can also join my Telegram channel down in the description. That's the only way to join the channel. 
do not look for me on Telegram, go through the door. The link. Just like to get to God, you can't go any other way but one way. Jesus. The door. Same way. Okay? <laughs> you want to get to my Telegram channel, you go through the link. Don't ask for any other way. All right? Very, very clear. Now, that's what I wanted to share with you. Um, yes, I will be releasing other prophetic words throughout the weekend, at least. I also had an interview with Diana Larkin and John Redenbow. Had a powerful encounter in the spirit, a dream, um, and a vision. And what's very interesting is the vision I had closely relate to the prophetic word we just read about very much uh, as i was reading i was like whoa praise god so be on the lookout for that as i release these things all right uh for those of you who do pray for me um the lord brings you brings me up in your spirit uh, at any time during the day thank you for your prayers <coughs> in particular those of you who have the gift of unknown tongues and lift me up in tongues uh, a special thanks to you because as you yield you pray the perfect will of God and I do appreciate it uh, I don't know what it is about uh, work lately but it's just been so 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 busy all right so um, that's it for now I'm gonna let you go I bless your weekend June uh, yes before I forget um, remember about a, a few weeks ago the Lord released a powerful prophetic word through Manuel Johnson and I brought it to you on this channel <clears throat> so if you go to the home uh, home page of my YouTube channel, look under playlists. Under the playlists, find the playlist that says Manuel Johnson. <clears throat> and it will be the, um, not the YouTube shorts, but the longer video where it says something about June 2024, right? You may want to revisit that. If you're on my Telegram, I shared it today on there, all right? So I would say revisit that so that you know what to expect because God did say, June is going to be a major month. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. And the Lord's reminding me now that Diana Larkin received a word that there will be major pushback beginning. And the Lord said the same thing through Manuel Johnson. Praise God. All right. So things are lining up. God is being glorified. And the hearts of everyone are being tested constantly. So let us remain in faith. Let us rejoice. Let us continue to bless God. And okay. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to share that right now. And then I'll let you all go. Okay. But check this out. Let me just read you something in case you haven't heard. I want to read you something that's going to make you shout. It's going to make you laugh. <laughs> OMG. <clears throat> you want to know how very much Romans 8.28 God works all things for our good, for those who love him and those who are called according to his purpose. That's what came out of me yesterday as I, as I shared it on Telegram. And then Manuel Johnson ended up saying that very same verse a few hours later. Confirmation, amen. Look what was reported. I think it was yesterday. <clears throat> if not, it was today. Let me read you this headline. <laughs> Woo, glory to God. Headline breaking Trump raises record shattering 34.8 million dollars in less than 28 24 hours oh my gosh sorry I was reading the wrong thing because I literally just saw something pop up from the gateway pundit on my phone and they literally gave an update so look, look at the look at the timing of the Lord he is so funny Lord, you're pretty good. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you all. You, you got to talk to the Lord like he's your friend. Why? Because he is. Now, be a friend to him. Be trustworthy. Be obedient, etc. All right. Now, I'm on thegatewaypundit.com. Let me read this because I want to know what I just saw. I think it's an update on how much. <laughs> yes, it is. <coughs> oh, my Lord. Okay. So, I was reading that, um, that within the last... Within the first 24 hours, sorry, in less than 24 hours, the, um, the headline says that he raised a record-shattering $34.8 million. 
nearly double of the previous record. But now, <laughs> the latest here, as of 8 p.m., that's an hour ago, Eastern Time, it says breaking, Trump raised 52.8 million in 24 hours following guilty verdicts in Marxist Judge Juan Merchan's Marxist New York City show trial. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> the people have awakened. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. Amen. All right, saints. Let me let you go. Man, anytime I'm, I'm flowing, the, the, the whole cough thing, don't even worry about it. It's just the enemy trying to stop our voice. But we cannot allow our voices to be stopped. Period. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right, saints. God bless you. Look down below. Follow Barry Wunsch. Subscribe to my channel. Get ready for this weekend when I'm going to release to you several things the Lord showed me just yesterday. Hallelujah. And don't forget to go back and review that Manuel Johnson prophetic word that I shared as well to keep you fresh on what to expect. Amen. God bless you. Bye-bye.